Hey everyone, this is Victor, I go by Barracuda Online, and this is my video tutorial on how to use the online training platform Weeble. And as you can tell from the title of this video, this is the desktop version. As a heads up, this video is being recorded on August 24th, so it's possible that some of the features could be like changed or moved around by the time you see this video. I've been using Weeble Desktop since February of this year, so it's been nice seeing some of the improvements that have happened since then. After talking to some of the developers, apparently they were planning on releasing a like version 4 planning um, sometime. Uh, right now it's actually in beta, uh, but I feel like there's still a lot of things that could be changed or should be changed, so I don't think it's going to be out at least quite some time from when I'm recording this video, hopefully. <laughs> um, if there is a new version that comes out, I'll probably release like a new video or an updated version of this video. If you're curious, I also made a video on why you should use Weeble um, as like your trading platform. Um, the link should probably be like somewhere up there or it would be in the description uh, below. Last two things before we jump right in, I do live stream me trading twice a week from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Coast time on Twitch, link in the description. And if you have any questions or video requests, please let me know down in the comments. All right, first thing we're gonna tackle is actually how to download. <laughs> you literally just go to the website and on the top should be under download. Click download and then you're gonna choose which uh, operating system you have. I'm Windows, so I just download Windows. And they also have the better version available. Um, I personally wouldn't use it right now. All right, so first look, there are nine main parts of the platform and they are settings, accounts, markets, watch lists, stocks and charts, screeners, trade, alerts, and paper trading, all nine of them. As a heads up, I did do timestamps for all the sections of the video, so they'll be in the description. The video progress bar on the bottom of the video will also be sectioned off according to the timestamps, so I hope that helps. So we're going to go start off with the easy ones first, just to get them out of the way. So first we have general. Um, pretty self-explanatory, you have language, time zone, ticker display, if you want to you know, switch it around. Theme color, personally. Um, I would only use the dark mode, which is the mode you're seeing right now. They do have the light mode, but I, I personally wouldn't use it <laughs> to be straightforward with you. Um, I know some people are doubting me, so I'm going to show you. Just, just be prepared, okay? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I know some people might like it, but personally, I, just, I don't think it's worth it. Pretty cool thing that they have is you can change the color of your price change. Um, so I know some bears out there know who you are. This would uh, be pretty cool for you. Or, you know, when your position goes down 50%. Alright, moving over to hotkeys. Uh, I personally don't use this too often, but it really definitely has its uses. I know if you scalp a lot, or people just like having hotkeys just to do whatever they want, um, it's pretty handy. Okay, moving over to trades. Basically any presets you want. For the most part, I didn't change anything. But it's really awesome that you have this amount of freedom and ease of use available for you. So like for instance, if you really want a stop loss order on every position you make, or you want to take profit order on every position you take, you can set you know presets like percentages you want, which is actually pretty cool in my opinion. Um, and top that with everything else that we provide, it's really cool. Okay, so for notifications, it's like really just all it does it changes the sound of when something happens so for instance when an order files every time I get an order filled um, it can make like that sound uh, but personally those are just what I have <laughs> uh, if you want to copy it sure you know I'll just all the power to you as for security I won't show this because this is information um, you most definitely don't want to share <laughs> uh, but yeah it's if you want to have two-factor authentication or your associated email address or any trusted devices you have that would all be shown up on security about it just shows your current update or your current version uh, if you want to update you know <laughs> um, there's also your terms of service which you know everyone should have read before downloading the platform right next one i'm going to show is account but just like security i can't show you this it does have personal information such as my account number uh, my net account value, my buying power, stuff like that. It's pretty cool because it shows you your profit and loss and just more information about your current positions like uh, what dividends you have, what how much dividends you've received, uh, your current market value of your positions, and yeah, pretty much that. Okay, and then moving over to markets. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's a nice um, thing that I think a lot of brokers have, but Weeble's 
definitely is pretty pronounced as you can see. Uh, it shows you basically current market news and movement. Uh, it's definitely nice to see what each sector is doing. You can kind of like, you know, move around and check different things. So yeah, pretty neat thing, especially to do kind of like in the middle of the day or when you're, I guess, just analyzing the market. Uh, let's say like in after hours or something. All right, so we have watch lists. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just shows that your watch list they have set up. It shows the symbol, the name, uh, your price, where it's currently at, after hours, percentage change. Um, if it's pre-market, show pre-market percentage change. And yeah, it's everything that you see. It's pretty cool because you can customize it. So on the top we have tabs. So I have different tabs set up, you know, for different uh, things you can, I guess, set up. Yeah. Down here we see the news, for instance. So for this example, be Apple it shows all the recent Apple news. Pretty neat. On the top right here, we have edit watch list. This is where most of the magic happens for the watch list tab. Here you can create, edit, delete, you know, watch list that you have. Make a new watch list. I can edit them, edit the name. All right, over here is the grid view. If you want to see the charts uh, for your current watch list, pretty cool. Just like that, you can see them. And then uh, depending on how many tickers you have in your watch list, you can just go through the pages right here. Simulated holdings up here is for paper trading. So this is specifically strictly for your paper trading account, which is pretty cool. They have all these features uh, for, you know, for paper traders too, because I definitely think paper trading is really important, especially when you first start out. On the right side right here is completely customizable. This is just my current setup. You can really change anything that you want under the widget settings on right here. And yeah, you can, you know, if you want some stuff, if you don't want some stuff, you just check mark the box right here. But yeah, this widget settings is where a lot of the magic happens because it really is pretty customizable because once you have everything you want, you can move them around. And you can also just scroll up and down, see what you want, you know. Okay. Last thing is that on the bottom right, we do have the refresh button. Uh, basically, it's to refresh your page. Your platform should be updating like live constantly, but just in case you know things happen, you want to make sure you have a good refresh. Click the button, refresh. And then we over here is is lock for trading. So basically, this means you know maybe you have kids or something. This would lock it, so we'd have to unlock it again. So you know, if I click it. That's what it does. So notice I can't see my positions. You know, maybe you're in a public space some, for some reason in trading, or like you said, you know, you just don't want people accessing your trading platform. You click on the unlock, and you're gonna edit or input your pin, and boom, right there. And over here shows your signal. So pretty self-explanatory. And over here is time zone. So it shows you the current time zone that I'm in, but I can click it and it shows it to market time, which is Eastern time. So pretty handy. Okay, so we have the stocks and charts tab right here. And personally, I'm on here the longest when I'm trading. It shows you the charts for your, the current tickers that you're looking at. So in this case would be Apple. Um, if you wanna pull up, you know, for instance, Amazon. Shows you Amazon. There's a ton going on right here, but I'll show you the two main things, which are settings and customizing your screen. Over here, we have settings. You can explore these um, and see whatever you would want. I'd highly recommend check marking the show extended hours uh, because for some reason, Weeble doesn't have this like as preset. So I would definitely recommend having that and everything else is just really up to you. Over here in grid, it just basically just asks how many charts you want pulled up at once. Uh, for me, I usually either do two or sometimes I do four. It's pretty cool, you know. You can have this one be Apple again, you know, and have the classic Tesla setup. And I don't know, this one's been the video. So pretty neat, pretty cool. Over here is detachable window. Uh, you can't see it because uh, my screen doesn't show it, but you can basically pull up another exact window as this. And so it's really nice if you have multiple monitors. I think that's the only purpose of it, really. And so if you have multiple monitors, like I do right here, I have one set up right here, one set up here, one set up up there. Okay, and so for drawings, you can yeah, you just go ham at this. You can draw trend lines. Boom. You can draw horizontal lines, maybe just resistance support lines, stuff like that. And you can just delete them by going over here. You can change the color, you know, to whatever you want. You can change the line size, the style. You can lock it, that way you know you don't accidentally touch it or move it again. 
and yeah it's pretty neat indicators pretty important in my opinion um, these are the ones I currently use you know moving average sometimes EMA uh, the MACD RSI VWAP pretty much that's all I use um, sometimes I don't even use them but I really do think indicators are really important to kind of confirm uh, either entry or exit points or to confirm current market motion so it's really up to you I highly recommend spending a lot of time here because there's a lot you can do here just tons of indicators you can you know use you can edit them um, you know <laughs> what you want your length is you can have which ones what color you want them to be it's crazy and it's really cool because they have a little introduction to kind of explain to you which each indicator is to see if you want to use it or not if you want a video on indicators I'd be happy to do so just let me know in the comments otherwise it does take some time so I might chill a little bit <laughs> As for line style, um, it's pretty much what you want your chart to look like. I personally use candles, but I know a lot of people like using, you know, for instance, uh, Hike. Sorry, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the uh, Hike and Ashi um, candles. Yeah, really all the power to you. And this is the compare. Pretty straightforward. Like, if you want to compare it to another chart, it'll show you the comparison between, like, yeah, I personally don't use this too much. People like using it, I know, for a lot of macro data stuff. Uh, it's just as like, you know, for instance, features and like, you know, bonds and oh man, people go crazy with it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what it's used for. Next over, we have screeners. Pretty awesome feature. You can create custom technical indicators. Uh, here are, for instance, some of mine. Yeah. Let me know if you want a video on how I set up my screeners and how I use them. Okay, and over to trade. So, this is honestly, I think, where people really gets it right. Um, because it's awesome because this trade tab is extremely customizable. Um, so, as right here, you have like these boards you can set up, uh, which are pretty much preset, I guess, layouts that you have. So, I have like, you know, a normal one, such so as like, you know, just do some normal trading. Uh, if I want to do, for instance, my two options I kind of like you know if I need to trade two options or look at two options at once um, yeah you can go at it like yeah there's a lot of things you can do personally this is my favorite just because I do trade options a lot um, and yeah so you could have your table over here your trading action right here and the chart right here all in one screen and you can really customize it because I'll show you like you can move things around however you want you can add widgets so for instance if I wanted you know let's say quotes boom quote right here if I wanted time and sales time and sales right here if I want to see price ladder price ladder right here I can move it wherever I want um, I know a lot of other brokers are now going to have like kind of like implement some of these features but for instance even think or swim which I also use too it's not this flexible so this is, I think, where Rebo really does it right, and I hope they really just further work on this because I know there's a lot of more things they can do with this feature. But yeah, trade's really cool, and I would really highly suggest you just to play around and see what kind of layout you want, you know. And it's really cool too because you can also make it detachable window. And for instance, if I wanted my second screen to show something completely different than my first screen or have a different layout, uh, I can do that. So it's awesome. Okay, and over here on the top right, there is the alerts pretty cool uh, pretty standard I think within a lot of other brokers but this is where I have alerts shown or where alerts that are triggered are shown on their feeds and then under settings would be current you know alerts that I have so for instance like let's say Apple right but let's I should start with Amazon right here so I have Amazon okay if I want to create an alert I can do it two ways I have the option right here technically three I have the option right here to do alert settings you know I have a for instance an alert if it goes above this price as you can tell I haven't updated it because Amazon's <laughs> been going crazy up but let's say I want to do another alert right let's say I have a position in Amazon and I really don't want to worry about it but if it goes under 3,000 I want to be known immediately so I'll go price you know or you know percentage change whatever you want volume there's a lot of things you can do but let's say for instance price below 3,000 save now if I move it down a little bit or a lot oh man so you see this little arrow right here this shows that I have an alert set whenever the price goes below 3,000 I'll maybe get an alert it would show up on my computer screen also have alerts on set up on my phone too and it also show up right here if I 
I want to change it, I go edit or delete it, and I can delete it. Delete. Pretty cool. Uh, the other way would also be, let's say, I want to learn, you know, right here, 3050. I can right click. You know, I have a lot of options here, and honestly, like, if you want me to go into them, I can. Just, just so much to show for this platform um, that I can't really cover everything. But I would go over here to create alert. Creates alert right at where you pointed. Pretty cool. Okay, so last thing I want to show you is paper trading. So I think this is something that's really unique too for Weevil. I know some brokers are starting to kind of kind of get on this, but Weevil is definitely really decked out on how to paper trade and how they utilize it. And you don't need to fund your account. You don't need you know all these prerequisites to paper trade. If let's say like you're starting off or you really want to practice let's say trading or for instance Weevil, you just go straight to paper trading. If you want me to make a video about it, I can. Pretty straightforward though, like it, you can trade like normal, and then it's cool over here. Paper trading account, you know, shows what you're at. I don't, I just reset it. But let's say I wanted to practice with $1,000, I set it over to $1,000. Okay, take some time, but now I'm at $1,000. Now I will, I can pretend to trade or paper trade with $1,000 in my paper trading account. So yeah, if you want to paper trade, definitely a great feature that Weeple has. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my Weeple tutorial. I know this video was a little bit long, but I just really wanted to get as much as I could. There's still tons of features I didn't go over that if you want, I can go over or maybe specific tabs you want me to focus on. But yeah, it should test how awesome this platform is because there's just so many features available. If you're watching this video and really enjoy what Weeple has to offer, I have a referral link in the description for Weeple. If you sign up and fund at least $100 in your account, we both, yeah, we both get two free stocks um, that can value between $12 to $1,400. That's crazy. Um, the lowest I've gotten from this was $12, but I've also gone up to $120, so it's definitely possible. I know, personally, I haven't gotten into that $1,400, but I mean, maybe, maybe you'll get it. So it's a movement situation. And as an added bonus, if you use my referral link and actually message me proof of it, I'll actually give you a one-on-one -on -one session on you know any Weeble tactics I use or any trading tactics I use in general. Yeah, so once again, referral link will be in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. And so for now, I salute to you. Good luck on your you know trading endeavors, and let's make some money.